Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic and welcome back to Slay the Spire and today we are hopefully going to do exactly that, but with the defect. So let's see, essential level 15, unfavorable events, let's begin. Well, sad to say, but we haven't really done very well within the past week-ish, maybe a little bit over that. Um, so uh, hopefully today that'll change. Okay, I do see triple rest double lead, in fact, so that's kind of good. Uh, or I could know is triple lead. Mm. Oh, no, wait, I can do it with a single. Not with a double. I can do it with a triple or a single, but not a double. I uh, go for the triple one. Oh, boy. That should be interesting. Well, first three fights are free, but... Well, if I guess if I don't get a fight here, at least I get a free elite. I'm not I'm not really gonna hope for that though. I'm gonna be just straight out there. I, I never plan for this. It's very rare that I might say, you know, if I get it, sure, but I won't plan specifically around getting an elite to make everything work. Definitely gonna pick up that. There, there was no way. I mean I was gonna card me, but there was a defrag there. So I'm gonna go here because I think this fight is gonna be more favorable to us for no particular reason. It really doesn't matter, but yeah, it's it's me we're talking about. I should pick up Sweeping Beam here, just in case AoE, please don't be a fight. Thank you. So this is going to be interesting. Um, do I? No. No, 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 no. I can't do it. Oh. Oh, right. This does have two shops. Um, I can card remove. I'll card remove. My god, there's a flaw in my room. When I say in my room, I should... I don't know, it's like, it's kind of weird. Uh, you know, I have uh, have been living with the missus for kind of a while now. Uh, like, we've been together for a very long time. But it's still a little bit odd because, you know, you say my room, but technically it's a house. You know, it's well, technically it's an apartment, but... Uh, you know, it's... When you say my room, it, it kind of, for me, it feels like, you know, it's like, oh yeah, you're living with, you know, somebody else. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It's probably just me, considering I'm, I'm in general a weirder person. Oh, thank you for killing that. I was very surprised that that happened. Uh, yeah, for anybody wondering, me and the missus have been together eight years now? Yeah, eight years we've been living together for... Four? Five? Uh, four or five. Somewhere around there. The truth is somewhere out there. Yeah. And we've been living, I should say, alone. You know, just me and her, uh, me, her and uh, as of uh, very relatively recently, a baby. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna defend here. I actually shouldn't have taken this much risk with this fight, considering I have an elite f another elite fight coming up, considering I want to upgrade. Uh, because defrag is a very, 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 very... I shouldn't have defended there, it's fine. A uh, very important upgrade. Like, extremely important. Yeah, I should definitely not have defended there. Because this is... oh boy. Oh, kill. Good. Bag of marbles. I'm happy to take it. And we're gonna skip. You know what, I'm gonna risk it because I already took the three lead fight, which was a huge risk. And I'm gonna take one more big risk by upgrading Defrag, which was probably a bad idea here, specifically. <laughs> Actually, you know what, I'm not gonna dual cast now. Yes, I'll deal 8, 16 technically, but Defrag is uh, probably gonna be worth it. Defrag? No. Uh, I will play Auto Shields and I will play the Ancient Potion so I'm not made vulnerable. Uh, that is actually very important in the knob fight. He could do this, yeah, twice in a row, which of course he decided to do. I'm still gonna keep defending, and I'm gonna hope that my lightning orbs will somehow save me. Oh boy, that's not good. Uh, I just keep defending, right? And I hope for dual cast next turn. This is really bad. Um, right, well, if I defend, I'll block 10, but he'll gain... Five, six more damage. Sure, so technically I'm blocking for four. Yep, that was probably not a good call. 
Well, he should be dead if I get- yep, a strike, good. Turnip, really good actually on the defect. Uh, go for the eyes, always go for the eyes. It needs to be upgraded though. Meat on the bone is insane! It is so good. Ah, I could fully heal here uh, if I offer up. Uncommon heals you, right? Problem is, I don't want to give up our auto shields or defrag. So in this case, I will not gain anything. I will just give up a strike. Yeah, which is basically just a card removal. Uh, sure, I have to rest here, otherwise I'm just straight up dead. There is no way I'm passing the elite fight without resting. Maybe these two, but actually, I had a fight. I, I should have rested. This could have healed me a little bit more. Uh, okay. So half of 71 is, why isn't this triggering? 35 is half HP. This should be flashing, it should be triggering. Because I am on half health. If your HP is at or below 50%, which it is, it should be flashing, it's, it's not flashing. Why, is it, why isn't it flashing? Do I need to take damage for it to start flashing? Oh, well, I'm definitely taking damage here. Ah, no, no, I'm not. I need to take like one, just just one. Uh, what is that? Seven? You know what? I'll take the two here. It's not gonna die. There's no way it's gonna die. And hopefully, what? That is way below half. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, it did heal me, but it wasn't flashing. That's not fair. Right, I do need more ways to generate orbs, uh, because just a single lightning orb is not enough. 42 HP should be enough. I'll probably have to rest after that fight, for sure. Uh, but for now, no. I think Zap needs to be upgraded, because I really need to be able to play it always. Please don't be the knob. Please don't be like of one. Please don't be the Sentinel fight. Basically, I didn't want this to be an elite fight. I will not dual cast here. Again, I need orbs. So long as I stay at around 35 HP, I should be good. Yeah, go for the eyes on you since technically I have bag of marbles, so that's actually really good. So I do want to take damage, but I want to take 7 damage. It has to be an exact amount. Okay, that's actually really good. I'm fully defended here. Please kill the back one. Thank you. I'll probably end up taking damage here as soon as the dazes start piling up. I mean, let's face it. That's why I wanted the orbs up, because yeah, I'll dual cast them, but when, when is the next time I'm going to get the lightning orb? Yeah, so now I'm willing to dual cast because I have three, so it should be, wow, I'm actually not going to take any more damage, am I? I should maybe f just defend once next turn, if I can, which should be five, maybe that's enough? Uh, well, he's dead next turn, so let's not kill him this turn, though, because I need to take the damage. This sh shouldn't trigger Mute on the Bone, though. It depends on how it's rounded. It doesn't say how it's rounded. Oh, well. Hopefully it triggers. It did not. Eternal Feather is good. Well, that's all I can say about it. 42 HP. I think I need upgrades at this point. Because I don't have cards, so it's better if I can upgrade somehow. Like, defrag lightning orbs will work, it's it's a decent amount of damage, so long as I can, like, get them out. The problem is I have only one way to generate orbs. Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there's just the one way I can generate orbs, which is kind of bad. Yeah, meet on the- you can see, now it's flashing. No, that's, oh, that is a transform. For a second there, I thought it was going to be uh, weakened. F Actually, I can't be made frail, so I don't really care. And he doesn't make you frail, but I can be made vulnerable. Hmm. It's sweeping beam here, and I'll probably yeah, end up defending. I'm not dual casting there on purpose. I want to get three orbs out first, because that's actually going to be very valuable to me. Uh, these two and that. Yep. Go for the eyes. Always go for the eyes. Uh, auto shields this. I'm fully defended, so I can pass. It's not like I had much of a choice, but... Mm. I do have a decent amount of defensive items here, so... Yeah, that, that's good. 
can't really complain about that. And I did manage to transform uh, without getting the negatives. Now here, definitely little casting. And I'm definitely going to go for go for the eyes because... You know, you know... My say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Alright, I can dual cast here. Should be absolutely fine. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That's that's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to say anything too early, but this looks really good. Like extremely. Like uh, we're passing this really good. All right, and meat on the bone triggering is kind of funny here on the boss fight. Uh, rainbow isn't bad. It is a way to generate orbs. The problem is, yeah, it's kind of bad. Uh -oh. I, I don't know why it's rare, to be honest. If I somehow pick up Storm, Velvet Choker is going to be bad. But I can't rely on picking up Storm. I need the extra energy more than anything. Because, well, I need more cards, but... Extra energy is very valuable, so currently I'm going to value energy over card plays. And I do see triple rest with, I believe, single elite? Yeah, single elite. The problem is, uh, oh no, actually I can do a rest and then an elite, which is exactly what I want. Instead of elite before rest. And we do have shop here. Do I go for a double shop or do I? No, I'm just going to go for one shop. I'm going to take the extra. Uh, no, wait, I don't have a choice. I am <laughs> guaranteed to go for the shop. Alright, sweeping beam first so I can draw a card. Good. We'll still not dual cast. I'll wait for defrag first. Uh, dual cast is my next upgrade unless I get against something like Storm. But the reason I'm leaving the orbs up is because defrag is powerful. Really powerful, in fact. Come on. Thank you. It's actually really good. Yep, that was Velvet Choker. Because I have a lot of free cards, so I need to be careful. Like, really, really careful with what I play and when I play it. Okay, and gone. But the extra energy is just going to be amazing. Uh, at this point, I might consider it, to be perfectly honest, because I have no cards, and if I hold up too, too long, yeah, things are going to be bad, and at least this generates a Darkness Orb, and is X-Ray AoE, so... Yeah, why not? Even though it's uh, the Wheel of Misfortune, I should have known. Please don't be a curse, or damage. So basically, just be good. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yay! That fly is really annoying. Alright. Well. Yeah, these two are buffing. That That's always good. Uh, that's not good. At least that one's down. Yeah, there's something. Well, at least this one can't buff soon. I will first use this so the first one dies, and then I'll dual cast. Because, oh my, thank you, that was actually really good. That lowers the damage I'm taking by a lot. So does this. And you're down on the ground and you're dead. Okay, all well, not bad. I don't want to take boot sequence at the moment. I mean, it's really good, but... Um, Storm, not Storm, sorry, Velvet Choker. Storm is on my mind, so... Well, it's not here, so... Oddly smooth stone! Well, yes, of course. It's, it's like an instant pickup for me. I need card removal. Do I need card removal? Well, I don't really need attacks that much. I could pick a Melter, but I will pick a Melter up if I get it. Not if it's in a shop. Ah, this fight. I love this fight. I'm so enthusiastic about this fight. I, I love this fight. I should start dual casting now, even though it was probably better to defend there. I can't be made frail, you know, at the very least I can't be made frail, so there is that. Meat on the Bone is about to trigger. Actually, this is a lot of healing. Meat on the Bone is going to trigger, and Eternal Feather will heal me for, what is it, six? Yeah, six. That's still a lot when you think about it. So if I can just, you know, maintain... Well, not bad, I managed to fully defend there. Now I just need two dual casts and this thing's dead. Uh, I will choose to defend here. Actually, I'll draw first. I should have drawn first. That's fine, though. I mean, I was always going to play just skills anyway. 
Okay, this. This. Problem is... Yeah. Can't really defend much though, can I? Hmm. Yep. There goes my high HP. Well, he's dead as soon as I get something to evoke an orb. There it is. Meet on the bone triggering. Uh, don't want reprogram. Definitely not. But 44 HP against an elite fight. I think I'm gonna take it. And I am going to upgrade dual cast. I'll need to be really careful though with Velvet Choker. Yeah, let's go hope it... Okay, it's, it's a decent fight. I can make this work somehow. Uh, yep, go for the eyes, and I have to defend here. Oh, you almost killed it. Nice try. Now this is bad, and of course I'm gonna get Doom and Gloom. Uh, definitely gonna use it here. You know what? At least that one's gone. Uh, shouldn't complain too, too much. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here, though. Me on the bone triggering again. Hmm. I really didn't want my AoE to be here. Like this turn specifically. Because next turn he's gonna resummon and I'm gonna have no AoE. Okay, well, I, I don't have much of a choice. I have to play these. Now, dual cast. Come on, dual cast. Or, yeah, thank you. I can't kill the Sneaky Gremlin unless I evoke the sword. So I'm going to choose to do that. That is the last card I can play. I'm still taking 20 plus damage. <laughs> Come on, dual cast. Come on, there it is. Or Calcum's actually not bad. I will take Capacitor at this point, I guess. I mean, why not? And Storm? No, but I do have Ball Lightning and Membership card. Membership card is generally really good. The earlier the better, but I probably won't have too, too many shops. Uh, so, uh, I really want Ball Lightning. The problem is Ball Lightning is a common card. Hmm... I would have probably picked up, and eh, no, not Gremlin Horn. I have Velvet Choker. I'll just pick up Membership Card, and I'll pick up, uh... Th ooh, I don't really need the Flex Potion, so Liquid Memories isn't bad. It can be good. Some would say Mango's really good here. Helps out a lot. It's gonna be a little bit of healing, so it means an upgrade for me. Capacitor, I really don't need to upgrade, but I will upgrade Auto Shields. I'll probably upgrade Sweeping Beam or Doom and Gloom as well. And uh, the reason for that, of course, being I'm actually below half HP, so currently my half HP is at 42. I'm, I'm going to assume that it's rounded down. Uh, 42. So that's good. Uh, so, so long as I don't take any damage here, that's awesome. Defrag, zap, auto shields, and cast of the duels. And this is the last turn I can play that many skills, because dazes are definitely a thing. Or powers in general, or anything. Ah, yeah. Hmm. I could look with memories back something. But what's the point? Nothing will help. I can get like five block. No, I, I can't even get five block. I can get like three. So yeah, or Calcum to the rescue. So I ended up taking damage here, uh, which is kind of bad. Now what I can do here is, at the very least, I can kill something. You know, so at least I'm not taking damage. Please don't be five days as- Oh, uh, well... Well... It was close. Oh, no. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't. It almost was, but it wasn't. There it is! I mean, I don't really have that many powers, but I haven't really have the option to pick up so many powers. That doesn't mean I'm not playing Defrag as soon as I get it. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. The defrag is just too good. Storm needs to be upgraded, but I'm not entirely sure if I can. I actually might be able to here if I survive this fight that it, I should have used the ancient potion. Everything's fine. I'm calm. Just not not myself today. That's fine. Eh, sure, I'll play it. Why not? It was free.
Well, I mean, I can play these two, or I can play one of these, and then a capacitor. So that's not going to happen. Alright, Calcum. Come to my aid. Alright, Calcum Frost Orbs is, by the way, really good. Just going just gonna to point that out. Uh, Sweeping Beam and hope for the best? Yeah. Yeah, well. It, it wasn't, but it wasn't bad either, so I'm going to take it. That's exactly what I wanted. Meet on the bone triggering yet again. I'm happy about that. That was, that's what, like the third claw I've seen? That's amazing. Alright, Storm needs to be upgraded just so I can play it on turn one. And I'm going to go for the question mark. Hope that it is War Paint. I am not mad about that. In fact, I'm kind of happy. I need to rest here though. I really don't have much to upgrade. I guess the Doom and Gloom would have been really good for the extra AoE, but... Oh, whatever. Energy Potion is absolutely worthless to me. It's kind of funny. Like, really worthless to me. I guess unless I want to play, like, triple Doom and Gloom in a single turn. Which is probably never going to happen. I will use this preemptively. Because he's definitely going to debuff me. Might as well remove at least one of them. Uh, but I think he actually applies the weakness debuff first, which is kind of annoying. Okay, yeah, you know what? Not totally useless to me. <laughs> okay, well, it, it was half useless, okay? I really want to Doom and Gloom out. It, it had to happen, I think. You're dead, which is actually really good. Really, nobody hit that torch head, really. The debuff. Uh, let's see what the the thing is going to hit. Yeah, it hit weakne weakened. Weakness. Which is kind of bad. That's all I'm going to say. Right, I do want to start evoking these lightning orbs slowly so I can get this orb in front. Ready for a decent dual cast. Oh boy. If I survive that long. Oh, that is a lot of block. I love that. Vulnerability though. Uh, yep, dual casting here, for sure. Sweeping beam into probably zap, yeah, of course. And that's it. Now, prob please don't summon, please don't summon, because I can't dual cast if you summon, no! Well, I have to do it. I cannot not do it. Yeah, this will at least kill one of them. Yeah, it's like seven less damage taken, so... I couldn't not do it. I wanted to save that orb, but... It's not happening. Okay, that's really good. This one's dead. And there's another Doom and Gloom. Exactly what I want. Problem is, I think this is his big hit. And uh, I do have auto shields next turn, I suppose. Yeah, this is going to be the big hit. No, it's not the big hit. Okay. What? what resummon? Why? Well, I got to do this now again. Why? What's with the resummon? I don't think I've ever seen him do three resums, like ever. I will go for the eyes. I need to play one more defense, but I can wait because, yep, I might get this one. Can't play Doom and Gloom though. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'd rather be fully defended than uh, not fully defended. Uh, okay, first we're gonna use Zap, then we're gonna use Dual Cast. Thank you. At least that one's gone. And. Please get me dual cast. And please don't. Oh no, he's resummoning, isn't he? Still, dual cast would have been good there. I'm just gonna say that. Please, dual cast. Please. Or not. Well, I can remove one of them off the board. Which I should definitely do, right? Yeah. Oh, he was on lower health than them. That is amazing. I was actually starting to worry. Can't play Seek. Can play Creative AI if upgraded. Yeah. Okay, that is a really good slave caller. No. Yes, no, maybe? I mean, Velvet Choker Slave Caller is not the best thing in the world. Sacred Bark would potentially be better, but the problem is I have only two potion slots, so I really don't want to pick up Sacred Bark. Oh, come on! The game hates me. I do see triple rest at least. At least there is that. Ugh. 
Why does this game hate me so much? You couldn't give me another boss fight there, could you? Well, I can play this here, uh, which would mean taking a little bit of damage, but sure, whatever. At this point, I am extremely disappointed. It had to be, of course it had to be the Awakened one, I mean, as soon as I picked up Creative AI, what? I might have sort of forgotten that Creative AI can give you Creative AI, which is kind of bad, because you really don't want to have two Creative AIs when you have Velvet Choker. Yeah, Electrodynamics though, Def I should have played Defrag first, but that's fine. I'm doing math, that's 25 damage, okay, we're good. Oh, we're better than good. Okay. Uh, no. Well, I really don't need the strike, I suppose. Yeah, let's let's test it out. I want you to be electrodynamic. No, actually, I don't care at this point. It's the awakened one fight, so nothing really helps against the awakened one. <sighs> Am I really always gonna get this as a start? Because the game knows I can't really play it. I mean, I could play it last turn because I was going to take only six. Uh, no, five, sorry, five. But this time around, there's no way I'm taking this much damage for it. Yeah, it's really good. It will probably kill these, but... Uh, yep, I'm going to do it. It's not like I have a choice. At least it's like four extra block, and I'm really hoping these two die. Somehow. Ah, oh, they are about to. I think. Please, one of the three lightning orbs. Uh, two of the three lightning orbs. Hit that. Actually, it's guaranteed, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I just realized the uh, repulsor there in the front was... Uh, I will take loop. I will not take loop. It's an awakened one fight. Uh, you know what? I'll still take loop. It's really crushing to like do a power bowl and to see the awakened one and be like... <sighs> do I pick up more powers? Don't I pick up more powers? Is it... I am seriously going to get it every single time on turn 1, ain't I? Uh, versus Elites is fine because I have Slave Caller, but... I hate you. Uh, gonna play this first. Yeah, sure. Uh, gonna play Capacitor instead of Loop. That's not gonna... Yeah, you know what, it's fine. I just need to, like, survive somehow. Because I don't have an Ancient Potion. Oh boy. When I have to rely on Oricalcum for block, it's kind of bad. Uh, Dooming Gloom because... I need to do damage, like right now. Before this enemy starts to kill me. Which is going to be starting now. Oh boy. I really need to upgrade Creative AI. If I don't upgrade it, it's gonna be really hard to play. Versus most things. But the problem is, I have to defend here. Okay, yeah, whatever, let's go. Yeah, I could use this to play, but no. At this point, it's not worth it. Defense. More defense. And yeah, I can't kill it here, so... Oh no, wait, I should have drawn... No, oh, no, wait, I don't have a uh, dual cast. I did play it. Sorry. Oops. There it is. Perfect timing. Well, good timing. I might want to actually have to pick up the uh, cold snap. But no. Why are you here? No, seriously. Why? This is the worst build to probably do versus the transient. Like, I haven't really had much success of, uh, for it. With it, sorry. This is where probably the run dies. Oh uh, boy. Alright, let's play loop. Uh, definitely playing auto shields, and I think Dooming Gloom is going to help me out here. Didn't really do the math, but yeah, okay. It ended up helping out. Go for the eyes is good here. Capacitor definitely has to be played. And uh, how did am I? Not very, but... It's not good. It's not looking good. Auto shields. I had four block because of loop. Uh. 
Doom and Gloom here is... Actually, I can play both. What am I talking about? I was gonna say it's probably better than uh, Defend, but... Okay, I just need to survive this turn. Uh, how is that gonna happen? I, I don't know how that's gonna happen. Are you kidding me? I'm dead. Oh no, wait, these still do damage. Okay. Okay, I'm barely alive. Meat of the Bone Triggering is really good here. Uh, I have to say. I, I I just have to rest here, right? I can't think getting the worst fights, haven't I? Or do I always get the worst fights and I'm just noticing them now? And you're the one who's getting the Cold Snap. That's actually 10 blocks, so sort of fine. Ah, the Fly. Sorry about this. Ah, I thought I had it. Oh, well. Uh, I cannot do Doom and Gloom here, which is kind of bad. Well, I can, but it's worse, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to hope that the Lightning Orbs hit the pack one. <laughs> uh, I don't have much of a choice now, do I? Okay, I will... I need to upgrade Creative AI. It has to happen. Oh, boy. Boy, that was, uh, that was brilliant. Thank you! Thank you. Thank you, Lightning Orbs, for cooperating, because that was the worst part. Because as of now, I don't really need to do much. I just need to, like, stay here. That, that's about it. Don't even need to do anything. As long as they're not attacking, it's all good. And even if they are, I can just use a defend. Problem is I can't play Creative AI versus... Uh, something like, uh, the Awakened One. I can after he transforms, but not before. Fruit juice is amazing, just instantly drink that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, Creative AI now gets an upgrade because I'm on 60 HP. And this was the most important upgrade that I had to get out. The rest don't really matter. Why? I don't need that. That's too late for it. Yeah, well. Okay, here I'm gonna get it out. And I guess I'm just dual casting. Hello world! No. For sure? No. That's just gonna stay in my deck. Uh, machine learning loop. Zap. And I suppose a Doom Gloom is fine. Ah. I do not- ah, I have auto shields next turn and this is in the front. That's bad. Because I played loop. So I'm gonna get two block next turn guaranteed. Yeah, so, uh, mm-hmm. Probably should have dual-casted it at least. Uh, I need to be careful in how many cards I play. I am going to take a lot of HP damage. This is just before the Elite fight, by the way. Yeah, I have a rest, true, but I could die in this fight. Ooh. The form of Echoes. Probably shouldn't have used my Darkness Orb there, but with Echo Form, I'm feeling a lot more confident. Like, give me, like, self-repair now. I will double play this, probably. Uh, at the same time, I really want to survive. If I double play this, that's eight times, what is it, four, which is not enough to kill. So, I'm gonna double play this. You know, just, just making sure that I can survive. The rest is easier. Uh, actually, the Frost Orb might have been able to defend me there. You couldn't give me self-repair now, could you? I didn't need to double cast that, that's fine. You couldn't give me self-repair now, could you? Just, just a little bit. <sighs> yes. I'm digging a deeper hole for myself, ain't I? I? I am going to rest here and I'm gonna hope for the best that I don't take any damage versus this lead. Actually... I might not. Or at least not take enough to matter, because I do have- I still do have Eternal Feather. Uh, if I can get to set up here... I, I want to play this before Doom and Gloom. The, the reason is I want the Darkness Orb as far back as possible. That's not bad, we're still fully defended. I mean, we'll definitely get to one, that's for sure. Alright, well, it's time I started playing a ton of powers. 
Mm, well, 20. Oh, well, it isn't bad. It isn't good in echo form for sure. It has to be played. Uh, I am not fully defended, so yeah. And I do have 5 energy. I haven't actually yet hit the Velvet Choker cap, but it'll happen soon. Oh boy, hello world. Uh, I shouldn't double play that. That was a stupid idea to double play. There was Velvet Choker being hit. That's fine. I wasn't going to play hello world there anyway. Uh, double playing, double playing, double playing. What am I double playing? I'm double playing a defend. Because I don't need to double play machine learning. I just don't. That was Zilva Choker again. Could have gotten a Dooming Gloom out, but defense is... Yes, definitely double playing this. I need the damage. Plus, I wasn't going to double play auto shields again, let's face it. I was about to say you only repeat a mistake once, but um, hmm. I knew me. Might happen again. That one Frost Orb is insane. Uh, double play the loop for sure, because that's two extra Lightning Orbs. Play auto shields here. Play the cold snap, just because it's a lot of defense, and it does evoke the the other white orb. And yeah, well, never mind. White beast statue. Uh, well, well, well. Can take a consume actually. I won't be able to use it. Probably until I actually play. Uh, Creative AI. Can you believe it? I have played this game for over 300 hours. Wait a minute. Almost 400. Wow. Uh, I don't want to add any of these. Uh, trip isn't bad. None of these are actually too, too, too good for what I'm doing. Trip is really good though, otherwise. All hail the trip. Yep. I might want to lose Dooming Gloom. No, no, no. I guess Capacitor isn't a bad thing to lose. I'm not really going to use it <laughs> until, you know, uh, defrag here, for sure, uh, because I want to, I, I will be playing the defrags, the defrags are good. Oh wait, how did I have a cold snap? Why do I have a cold snap? Oh, that was the transformation, right, right, right. So Blessing of the Forge on these, I suppose, I, it will upgrade the AoE, so yeah, why not. That's going to be one of the powers I have to play, that's one of the powers I'm not playing. Uh, the other power I'm playing uh, is the defrags and nothing else until he transforms because... Uh, uh. I mean, I could get Electro, but at the same time, the boss could one-shot me. Problem is, if I wait too long, yeah, that's something like that's gonna happen. Do I really want to do this now? Don't have a choice. Come on, dual cast. Hmm, yeah, come on, dual cast. Meat on the Bone's gonna trigger as soon as this fight ends. Uh, that's amazing. I should have dual casted first. I forgot that I had that. Sorry. I think that might have just killed me. Mm, yeah, that probably just killed me. I will do Ming Gloom here. That is 40 plus damage. Why are you doing 40 plus damage? You know what? I buffed you up, I shouldn't have. I am dead. Maybe not? Potentially not? Okay. Leave that up front. You never know, could come in handy. I doubt it, but it could happen. If I dual cast it, I'm not going to be playing any more powers, so that's not going to really evoke. Uh, so I could keep it there for just a little bit longer. If it stays there for a little bit longer, just a little bit, a couple of turns, let me, nope, never mind. I was going to say let me survive, but nope. Yep. I'm a goner. <gasps> 1 HP, I didn't do the math, but I was, I was expecting to die. I just need you to stay there for a little bit longer. Nope, can't play that. Just, just a couple of more turns. Just get to like a 70. 70, 70, 70. No, never mind. Not 70. Do I do it now? I do it now, right? Yeah, I do it now and I play dual cast again. I don't evoke this until I get cold snap. Because I actually need it, surprisingly. 
I'm dead. But that should have been kind of obvious. Like, there's nothing here that can save me. Well, goodbye, cruel world. Tried. Today's gonna be only one run because I just noticed the timer. And, uh, yeah. Mm. Awakened one. For now, though, I've been the Rapid Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Slay the Spar, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.